Welcome, my name's Damien, Application Engineer for uh, Intercad. Today we're going to take a look at some advanced animation, specifically deformed bodies. So we're going to show how to build this little example here, shows uh, twisting of these bars, and how do we achieve that in SolidWorks through the animation tool. Okay, so it's quite straightforward, is that we're going to have two parts. Uh, this is going to be my base, which is also going to have a spline on here, and that spline is going to be driven in my assembly. So the sweep that goes with it updates. So it's quite straightforward is that we're going to make a, a new assembly and pop in both this fixed and we're also going to put the top, which is very similar looking. Oops. into my assembly. Then all that's required is just to position these together. I'm going to make their axes and we're going to put some home positions. So I'm going to make these two faces parallel and give them the set distance for the little bar that goes between them. Okay, so this clearly is only my home position. Okay, so likewise, because I want to be able to turn these on and off, I would normally uh, give them a name that makes them easy to find if I had a more complex assembly. In our case, it's probably not so important, but we can we can do it anyway. Home angle, home distance. Okay, so that's uh, the basics of my model setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this bottom part, but in context of my assembly. So we'll save the assembly. as a blog animation and we're going to create our spline which is going to be the basis of our sweep so we're going to do it with a 3D sketch so it's completely flexible and traditionally we would do something similar to this with a, a spline but we're going to use a new type of spline available in 2014 called a style spline what this lets us do is gain a little bit more control so we're going to start from the fixed portion at the bottom and the style spline works by creating a control cage and this control cage um, can be used to fully define the spline so we can add relations like along Y to keep these both vertical and we can make them equal I can make these other two here equal as well and I can even add my own geometry connected to the cage of here so this one here for example I'm going to also make equal to gain some symmetry in my model and all of these relations can be uh, added and maintained and controlled with all anything else any other geometry in my model for instance we're going to add a little controlling spline here just remove the along X and we'll make that perpendicular so I'm moving the along X so this can rotate and the angle of this uh, item here can change with it I'm going to add one more which is going to put a point on this spline and connect that point to my line just, just to gain control okay so that's more or less my spline set up we're going to use one other new feature from 2014 which is I'm able by using the smart dimension tool to click on a spline and give it a length Okay, so that's my spline set up, but before I do my sweep, we're going to come back to the assembly and I am going to generate the movement. So we can see my assembly tab that we've activated allows me to manipulate my mates independently, so I'm going to suppress my home mates. So this top piece is now free to move up and down and to rotate. And that's how we're going to manipulate the spline. Because it's always going to be a fixed length. It will uh, deform the way I want. So we're going to add a motor to the top to rotate it. And we're going to rotate ours a fixed distance. 120 degrees. And we're going to take 5 seconds to do so. Okay, we could even do it. In fact, 
I've changed my mind. We're going to, yeah, we'll do that. We could do a motor and have it oscillate from one to the other and go up and down, which I might do afterwards if we have some time. So we're going to have one more motor, which is going to be a linear motor. And this is going to, again, go a set distance. And we're going to go oh, it's by 30 millimeters and take five seconds to do so. OK, so now we've got those motors in place, we can calculate our assembly and we can see it manipulating the spline as it goes through. So this is what we want to happen. So we're going to come back to my model. In fact, we can just do it straight inside of the part if we want to. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a sweep. So I'm going to do a swept bottle base of this sketch onto this sketch and we're just going to use a minimized twist just to keep it smoother okay and one more item which is to be a circular pattern of our new sweep about the axes fix this up a little bit and we're going to do our calculation so the key is allowing the assembly to drive the underlying geometry and providing it can drive it in a set way by using set lengths and appropriate constraints we can create interesting animations like this and like I said we can go a lot further and we can edit the features to be rather than dis distance I can oscillate between 120 degrees every uh, at 1 hertz, maybe that's a bit much, 0.1 hertz. And the same for our linear motor, oscillate 0.1 hertz, 30. What we're going to do, we're just going to drag that out to 10 seconds and reanimate it. So this animation will show it going up and down between the two. And you'll see when I roll back, I often decide to do it piece by piece to make it a little bit smoother. Okay, thank you for listening.